Hello, welcome to the screencast for the gyro sensor. Gyro sensor is the one, I'll just grab a quick picture thing over here, um, it has this little, bring up here, this little symbol on it. Um, another, thing, another place I'll go is to the, uh, let's see here, go to more information here. I'll just take you to the, web here we'll see if this pulls it up here gyro sensor you can see a picture of it um, basically the gyro sensor in a nutshell whoop, there we go gyro sensor looks like this it allows you to kind of go go straight measure the rates of angles and kind of compare those angles and stuff like that um, it defaults to port 2 although you can put it in any numbered port um, what we're going to be using the gyro sensor for is to do some turns and do a little activity, uh, a little kind of learning how to do more accurate turns. In earlier classes or sixth grade classes, we had to we we program the robot to do a turn. In here, we're going to use a sensor to get a little bit more accurate of a turn. I'm going to show you two different programs. I'm going to minimize that. So basically, what you have here is for me with the sensor block. Um, I like to start with this one um, because I like to reset the gyro sensor. It, it's a good habit to get into to reset that um, because it kind of keeps track of what, where it's at in space and also the spinning of the earth can have an effect on the sensor. Um, there are a couple of videos in the Google Classroom About tab. Uh, there's a gyro sensor playlist that you can work with. Um, that gives you some more information on making, on you know, kind of resetting it, calibrating it. I'd recommend if you're having trouble with the programs that I show you tonight or today um, to check those out. Okay, so um, to start off with here, most people using the gyro sensor, um, they're going to grab a steering block and you can steer to the right or to the left. Um, and I usually set it all the way to 100% of a turn. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just turn those on. Now you can simply do a simple program of compare gyro sensor to angle, the angle you want it to turn, and then go for a, let's see here, and then turn the motors off. Um, that gives you a very simple. Um, very simple turn. However, it's not fairly accurate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here for a second and set, see if I can set something up so you can see, um, you can actually see the angle. So hold on a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, so you can see down here I've switched from the you know, general information area to the port view. And you can see the, the various ports of what I have them here. Um, I have a touch sensor in port one, port two. Port two, though, it shows you out of negative 184 degrees of the gyro sensor. Now, if I pick up the robot here and start turning it, you can see that it changes its angle. So that's where this um, the sensor block comes in handy. And I'm even going to throw in a wait for block here just to get it to wait for it to reset. Um, and then you'll see. So watch the uh, area right in here because um, I've got it set to turn for um, I want to set it to turn for greater than or equal to 90 degrees and we'll run that program and you'll see it turned and it turned to 109 so it went greater than or equal to 90 degrees not very accurate though um, so I could get you know, if I cut down see so if I cut down that wait for block here and see if that has an effect I ran the program you see it's still same turn and a lot of that is because of momentum so what you know but again very simple program you can see here's the simple gyro program here of what I did same thing that I did here um, oops, sorry about that if I take out that wait for block even as I showed you in the simple program and okay, there it went a little bit more than 90 degrees but it did reset itself so I'm going to turn it back here to my starting point, not that you can see it. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a little bit more accurate 
of a degree here or of a, a program. Now, one of the ways you can reset this is to simply unplug your gyro sensor, plug it back in with the robot on, and that will reset you, that will reset it to zero as well. Um, either way, I think works fine. All right, so perfect turn. And this is one of the ways you can compensate for momentum. Um, so you'll see up here I have my pseudocode that I'm using here because there's a lot going on in this program. And but really, it's not. You know, I, I don't get too don't get too discouraged. So we start out with a reset your gyro sensor to zero. We wait for a second to let it reset itself, and then we pull in two variables. Variable blocks can be found here, and they have a little suitcase. The first variable writes the degree, so I'm going to change this to 45. I had it set for 90, um, so you can just go in and I'll change it back to 90 again. And then you, then I have another variable. The first one writes it, so this this is where you can input what that variable is. The second one reads it out, and this is where you have your data wire that comes out and we're going to put it into this block here that I'm going to explain a little bit later. Now I have a wait for or a loop, a loop block, excuse me, a loop block that's looping for the desired angle. Now I have the sensor block here that the sensor block is going to measure the angle. And what I'm going to do with these two data wires is I'm going to, now I've brought in the six block which is a math block. And I'm going to kind of set this up so that the target angle, the angle that I want, is the first part of the equation and it subtracts the angle that has already turned so that, or the amount that has turned from the target angle. The reason we want to do that is we're going to use that to set the power level. So it's going to start out going really, really fast, but then it's going to start slowing itself down. So um, as it gets closer to the desired angle. And then I have the loop block here where I'm going greater than or equal to. I can go greater than, let's see, uh, let's see greater than 8. Now you see I have it 87. I'm going to set this to 90 and I'm going to let you see what actually happens when I run this program. Okay, so I have it set for 90. My target, ang target angle is 90. I want it greater than 90 degrees and I want it to stop. So I'm going to start by, and I'm going to run this program. And you can see here by the lines here, it has it's it's still waiting to get there. If you look down here at the gyro sensor, it's at 87. Okay. Now, if I look at my robot, it's at 90 degrees, or as close to 90 degrees as I'm probably going to get, but it hasn't exited out of the loop. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Now, I could try saying, okay, well, what about greater than or equal to? Well, let's run it and see what happens. You can see it's still stuck there in the loop. So this is where kind of having your robot connected to the um, connected to the computer, so you can see what your ports are reading here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm seeing it's about 87. Is that turn or is that value? So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and stop this here, and I'm going to say I'm going to adjust this down to 87. And now I'm going to try it again. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> and you can see 87, 87. It took it out of that loop and it actually stopped. So, because I and I can tell it stopped because there is no, whoops, there is no um, candy cane like uh, stripes going on up here. So this is a little bit more accurate of a turn than the um, than the simple gyro sensor program that I have here. I have. Um, I'm gonna have, now, I'm going to challenge you a little bit. This was turning to the right. I want to see if you can write this program or this program and make it turn to the left. What adjustments do you need to make? What changes to the data, um, the data blocks and the math or, and or the math block to make it turn to the other direction? Um, you can also get a, you can get, you can play with the wait for here. Um, you can play with this part here as well to see if you can get 
that accurate of that accurate turn of 90 degrees but again you're going to be you're going to be adjusting your weight for to real um, a real inaccurate number so I'd recommend you use the perfect turn um, whatever you find a little bit simpler so task one is to program a is to do a program like this for a left turn and then check Google Classroom for activities uh, an activity that will take you through the gyro sensor a little bit more in depth and set you up with a kind of a lawnmower program. You're also going to be adjusting or building a different robot, um, and I will get the instructions for that. Or, you know what, I guess I'll challenge you to build your own robot that can handle turning. You're going to want to make it so that it can set up and hold, have a gyro sensor, ultrasonic sensor and a touch sensor because we're going to be using those in weeks to come. All right, if you have questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fifeschools.com. Good luck and happy programming.